Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This should be a very quick video. Um, basically, I've got a charge battery, that's my Bandit battery. And I ordered the new regulator, didn't I? The new one of these. Now someone wrote to me and said that actually the bike would start even without the regulator. Um, now that, that shocked me. I honestly thought this as a circuit needed to be um, all together to run, so I'm shocked about that. What I did was immediately I ordered a new CDI and there's one right down there on the floor. Um, actually they weren't that expensive, it was like 20 quid or something. So one of the main things that can stop a spark is CDI. Problem is CDI could also be okay and it could be a wiring loom problem and even though I kind of checked the stator, it could still be a stator problem as well. Um, now if this CDI doesn't bring us back spark, which is highly likely that it doesn't, um, I can get a new wiring loom for like 20 quid and I think I think I'm going to go so I'll, I'll have a new CDI and a new regulator I think I'll order a stator and wiring loom um, and basically just refresh it all maybe even a couple of coils and then I think everything will be basically new um, but for now, I'm going to just unhook this battery because I want to see if it charges at home anyway. Um, hook up my Suzuki uh, Bandit battery. I'm going to chuck in that other CDI and we'll just see if Spark comes back. We know at the moment this bike does not spark on either Spark plug. Um, and we traced it all back and the wiring seems okay in places. It looked a bit touchy but that was cleaned and looked at. Basically, there doesn't f seem to be much reason now why it wouldn't spark. So, let's um, chuck that on and see. If we don't get spark immediately, the other thing I need to look at is the, the wires here. Um, now, I think they are exactly the same. I think they're wired right, but you just can't tell, can you? So, I might have to kind of try other variations to it problem is that can also blow a CDI so yeah that's what I'm gonna do right switch take this battery off plug in the new CDI and just kick it over and see what happens so this is absolutely real time that's the new CDI with the new thing on it um, I'd be I'd be so pleased if this thing showed spark but I'm really not holding my breath. Let's uh, have a little look. I can't see spark there. Can't see spark on that side. Let's try this side. No, I can't see spark. So remember what the potential issue is here. The um, I could have got them wires the wrong way around. I might need to play with them. I might need to check all combinations and see how that works. Yeah, so I'm going to have a little look at that. So I knew that was going to be a quick video. Um, it's a shame. Sometimes quick CDI change can solve the issue. I don't think it's that simple on this one. Now, even though the actual stator tested out okay, the pickup itself, which I believe is this one here, might not be good. So you have a bad pickup. So I think it's worth it's worth getting a new stator and I think a new wiring loom. You can get a wiring loom for, loom for 20 quid. Definitely worth doing. And then you kind of, and then for one, we, we marry up our stator and loom again for kind of consistency and for two we we take them out of the equation my only kind of final thing here is by messing with them wires I could have blown that new CDI so if it if I change the stator and the wiring loom at some point and it still doesn't spark um, I might need to get a third CDI um, 
but this is what you do you just kind of hammer away it's e you know it's either broken wires or a bad stator bad battery which it's not the regulator doesn't cause any problems and um, CDI yeah so th they're the stuff we need to kind of look into at the moment the actual engine and cylinders sound fine but a bike needs to spark to be able to run doesn't it cool let me know in the comments what, what you think where you think I should go I think the wiring loom and the stator is a good idea uh, and I can kind of take my time on this one there's no mad rush on this bike the next bike I think is going to be that moped I'm waiting for the front part and then actually the calf in there um, so this can be a slightly longer uh, project um, but I would like to get this thing up and running at some point Right guys, it's the same day, same time, literally two or three minutes later. Um, I was just reading online about um, about why my bike might not have a spark, just to see if there's anything I missed. And it said kill switch. And I thought, hang on, it can't be the kill switch because the kill switch doesn't kill spark. The kill switch just kills the ignition, the uh, electrics. But I wasn't sure. So I hooked up the battery, flicked the switch a couple of times, and checked the spark. Uh, let's see together what we achieve. It could be an intermittent problem, but check this out. Did you see that? That is spark. Second one. So, I'd love to throw the other CDI on now and see if I was just a, a fool and if the switch just needs kind of cleaning and if it was some sort of weird connection. Um, but what I really want to do is throw some fuel in this thing and see if I get any kind of run at all. To be fair, I've literally thrown them wires back together and guessed, so I don't know if they're right or wrong. I don't know if the battery would charge at this stage or or what's going on but I just want to hear if it's a good engine so I might chuck a little bit of fuel down in what I'm not sure is the fuel pipe or not this one and yeah I'll just spin it over a touch let's just see if, if we could hear this bike that would be so cool um, I'm really chuffed so let's just let's just kind of maybe finish my evening uh, with a huge smile on my face let's see so guys, to be very, very clear, the carbs have a small amount of, of fuel in, nothing major. Um, I'm, I'll go on a little bit of choke, it's obviously not run for a long time. Uh, I, I do not want it to start up and run properly, I'll give it 5 to 10 seconds. Um, anything other than that, and I want, to, uh, I want to change the oils and stuff and get it serviced. But I'd love to hear it running, so let me put you on the stand so I can do a bit of choke. I'm just going to turn it over, I'm not going to force it, and we'll just see if we hear anything at all. So as I said, let's just see and hear and see, you know, and feel it and see what's happening.
A uh, tough one there. It really did sound like it was on its way. Um, it's not using any fuel at all. The pipe is still full. Uh, but it really did kind of feel like it had something there. Uh, I would have liked to have heard it a little bit longer. Just, just something. Okay, so the battery's dying out. Really annoying that. Is that my Bandit battery? It's, I'm probably, it is, I'm probably due a new one. Um, I'm gonna, I'll charge both them batteries. I think, I think it will fire up. Um, I think it's more likely now that I need to do a proper carb clean. Um, these carbs are so complex, like, normally to get to the screws here, you can put um, grips on. Hang on a minute, one of the throttles off. So that means, what was I doing? I was only, I was trying to start on one and out of sync. What does that do, hang on. Mm. Shame that battery's dead, that was probably part of the issue, they weren't in sync. Let me see if there's any juice at all. Um, yeah, so um, I'm not sure it's a tough one now. It is because I need to work out where I'm really going with this. Ideally, I would get the carbs off again, but I just I couldn't get the screws out and they were rounding. And but maybe I need to spend more time trying to do that. I could probably get some grips on this one, for example. But there's one at the back that's sunk in. Um, very hard to do so that obviously causes issues but we're one step ahead now guys we've, we've got spark that's one step in the right direction I don't see I think if I put the air box back on this even now without more of a carb clean I think it'd be fine I think it would actually fire up and be okay with the right air filter but I am going to pop the carbs a tiny bit more when I get some time to make sure all the tubes are back on properly, make sure all the coolant hoses are there and working, and um, I'm going to try and get the bowls off one more time. I, I, these carbs could probably do with a clean. I have been spraying in through here and here, but you just it's not a thorough clean now. Ideally, the carbs come off when you give it a thorough clean. So um, overall, a good, quick session today on the bikes because we got spark back that's great um, once um, I have a battery properly connected and running I'd need to check for um, to make sure all them wires are wired correctly and that we have um, charging basically uh, otherwise you might be in the same position where we need to change the stator and the loom anyway or I just need to mess with the patterns and keep switching the wires and see which ones are right but yeah that's great I'm, I'm happy I'm happy we had spark today and it sounded like it was potentially going to fire at one point. I'm so tempted to go and get the car and uh, carry on, but I don't think so. I think the next step is going to be to put the airbox back on fully and yeah, and try and run it properly with the right air ratio once I've um, put the carbs back on properly and put the uh, all the hoses and things back on.